What up in the zone? It's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black and we are playing a dirt bike game. Let's go ahead and get right into the business, huh? Today we are doing the best paid tracks in MX Bikes. This is the Husqvarna 250 and we are on El Chupacabra Ranch, yeah. Now you gotta ask yourself, is it worth me paying my hard earned money to buy tracks in a dirt bike game? Absolutely, man. You're putting so much grinding hours into this game, and let's be honest, all the paid tracks are supply and demand. You know what I mean? You're gonna get the best of the buck when you're doing- Not all of them! Alright, let me, let me reiterate that. Not all paid tracks are the best tracks, but there is a lot out there that are worth it, and let's be honest, this one right here is an absolute banger. Now, obviously, I recommend a 450, a nice little 4 fatty on this track, but I'm, I'm, I love 250s, man. They're just fun to rail. And what's better than having all your motocross of the season and combined into one track? You like, gotta love it. And you don't only get not get one supercross track. You get three, man. That's that's a dub in my book if I've ever seen one. And let's be honest, this track is already flowy. Now I might crash 100%, like right now. Um, I might crash, and that's okay. You know what I mean? That's part of the part of the trial man you don't want to be super go to every track because then you kind of get bored but you want to be able to put as much as you can down in every lap but so far this track is an absolute dub i will show you a little bit of the supercross tracks but we're not we're here for the motocross you know what i mean oh no oh no oh no oh did i save it <laughs> i am not gonna get over this hill all right there we go oh man i don't think i'm gonna yeah there we go that was awesome I will show you those supercross tracks, but we're kind of focusing on uh, a little bit of motocross, but you do get a lot into it. And let's be honest, this is amazing. Now I'm glad I can uh, kind of share the same experience with a lot of people that are around the 200 mark. Um, I was, my dude Joe just got uh, got the game for the first time and uh, he's been playing. He's only probably got four, four or five hours. Probably gonna do an episode series with him and uh kind of just see his progress man because he's been hating he's been saying that this game looks so easy and the minute he got on the game the boy was not having it so i'm glad to see him kind of still loving it he didn't just throw it away and be like yeah i'm done but he kind of likes grindy games as well so i'm glad to see him kind of stay in the mix um yeah this is the track though man this thing is absolutely flowy that's one full lap of here let's go and see if we can find a supercross track thing's really cool right here this thing literally pops down every 15 seconds so you can practice your starts and just take right off right now i'm not the best at supercross i've said this before but we'll give her a little go i think when i fall i'm done <laughs> but uh yeah here's literally three of these tracks and i'm up they want the pobosa wants to see me winning they want a little bit more <laughs> gotta give the people what they want am i right <gasps> um we're also a little like not too far off from 500 subscribers so ladies and gentlemen i appreciate everybody with the support you guys are absolutely amazing let's get through these uh oh my god the husky rusky baby oh this is really cool oh and uh right off the track <laughs> um yeah all right let's get let's just go ahead and get to the next track huh? oh did i make that all right ladies and gentlemen this is track number two now you've got your compound right but now you need a racing track. And what's better than a JV track, a racing JV track? Now, I could have chosen any of the JV tracks. They are all dime pieces, but that's why we're making some episodes, baby. We're gonna get some more in here, all right? But for a banger, I definitely recommend MXGP of Turkey. This track is an absolute banger. And I'm kind of sad that JV tracks don't really get too much heat in the server listings. Like, these tracks are absolutely bangers and I gotta be honest with you, I literally, if I saw like a server listing of you going through all of them, that would be fun. That's kind of where I would be at, man. And I've done a couple streams on this track, and uh, let's be honest, they're amazing, dude. This track is so flowy. Like, look at the scenery, look at just the view. Not only that, the track just looks so clear. Like, you can really see the ruts, you see where you're going, and yeah, I think I just got my reshade just absolutely fuegged out on this freaking track, but... Husqvarna is so far getting through it just fine. Oh man, cutting right in here. Now, I really love this back section of the track and it's probably the best section I've ever seen in a freaking, uh, I guess, motocross track, dude. I, I gotta be honest with you, but it's coming up right here after the rollers, man. You're gonna take this section and, dude, let's be honest, there's so many sections to take. Like, look how many ruts there's, like, to be able to choose from, like, and you just go ahead and grab this bad boy right here, and now you're just gonna go poof. 
Too easy, man. And then you're coming right back to the end of the finish line. Now, a good lap around here is probably a 135, 132, a really good clean one. I'm only at 200 hours, man. I'm not hitting those dime pieces, but yeah, I love it, man. That was an easy 148. Let's see if we can get another one in here, man. I love this track. And this Husqvarna just sounds so amazing, dude. And it's not like I, I, a lot of people say it's lacking a lot of power, but let's be honest, the consistency on this bike, dude, it's unmatched, man. Oh my god. Uh -huh. So that was a fing lie. Uh, it's unmatched, dude. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's just. I love this bike, dude. Like, especially if you're not looking to have so much freaking torque from your freaking good old Honda 250, and you kind of just want to be able to mellow out, stay consistent, and you don't have to worry about looping all the time. It's definitely this bike, dude. But yeah, this this track is just it, dude. It's something different. I'm gonna get a little shmiggy. All right, so you got your compound. Oh, shmiggy! Oh, the wheel. Oh, let's go, baby. You got your racing track, but now you need your booter magooter. Trying to do a 60 and a 35 kind of track. And what's better than a track that just came out? Jungle MX, baby. This track's got it all for you, bruh. Like, let's be honest, man, you kind of just want to lay back, relax, have something cool to ride, good scenery, and just vibe. Jungle MX has that all, man. You got your Donkey Kong rollers, man. You got your freaking Mario Kart slides. You got your freaking Jungle Hill. Like, it just looks amazing, dude. This literally brings you so much great... I guess Mario Kart vibes, man. It makes me want to buy a Nintendo Switch or something. I don't know. But, yeah, this, this track's amazing. And I really like Jungle Hill. It kind of almost gives you a power hill kind of vibe from Washougal. And can't can't lie, it looks amazing. But you're going to go absolutely all the way up there and just boop, boop. Drop that thing back down the third and just kick it. Oh, God, dude. It's just, it's absolutely a vibe, man. This track is so beautiful, so flowy. Something to just get on with the friends, dude, and kick it with. Oh, my God. Can I make that? Oh, dang it. And make, like, like, like I said, you got... If you're going to pay for at least three tracks, you got your compound, all right? You got your racing track, and you got a fun track, right? That's $6 you just spent, right? That's probably the equivalent of buying fries at McDonald's or something. But, yeah, you just spent only 6 bucks to have three tracks that you're going to spend more than two hours on on each max. Like, let's be honest, man. Having paid tracks are fun, and especially the supply and demand. You know what I mean? Like, this track, if it was free, uh, ooh! Booter! I made it! Let's go! Oh yeah, baby, I like it. Can I make it? Yeah. You just gotta have paid tracks, man. The supply and demand, dude. People put more effort into when they literally are gonna get paid for it. So this is a W W track by Maplar. Oh, come on, huh? And also, it, it has your freaking Supercross in here. So not only are you getting some fun motocross, you get some fun Supercross. I think it's really fit for only a 250. You can try a 4... 450 on there, but I definitely re recommend just railing everything with a 250. This is just absolutely fun. But you're gonna want to slow up right here. Oh, take this rut, and you're gonna want to do it all over again. <laughs> oh, this game, dude, this drag is so fun, bro. Look at a sneak piece. Oh, god. Well, sneaky. Let me know down in the comment section if you thought these were bangers. If you're kind of not really feeling them, but uh, I'll catch you in episode two, man. This is your boy IBS Kelso, and I'll see you guys in the absolute next one. Oh, oh pop, pop, peace!